Hey everyone, James Jennings here. Check me out on YouTube, Jimboy86. Also check out my wrestling Facebook page, Wrestling Merchandise Collectors and Traders. And while you're here, like and subscribe. You're watching AJWF. Welcome back guys to another AJWF. Big shout out to James, my friend, who's just announced he's going to have a little baby. So uh, future WWE superstar in the making. Congratulations, buddy. Uh, we're going to look today at the Miz figures. For me, he is probably the king of entrance jackets, uh, figure-wise, and obviously in real life. I think with The Miz, you either love him or hate him. For me personally, I'm a fan. I think his gimmicks are good. He makes a good heel. He makes a good face. All around, he is pure entertainment. So I appreciate that. As you can see from the clips on the screen, he knows how to make an entrance. And I think his uh, entrance attire is always spot on. So I have just found the uh, Miz Elites that I've got here with the entrance jackets on. Uh, I don't know if there's any more, um, not 100%. Um, but also the figure at the front there in the t-shirt, the I Am Awesome. Uh, I always loved that gimmick. I thought it was really good. So I thought I'd give this one a, a quick mention as well before we look at the entrance attire ones. And the Elite underneath this t-shirt, uh, it's one of the early ones. Possibly, don't quote me, uh, but I think it could be the first Elite he had in the trunks. Um, not sure, but I think it is. Uh, the scan, also worth mentioning, really good. So the Miz and his entrance gear, he is a very toyetic character. Um, I think Mattel's nailed the entrance jackets. So let's have a look at the first one here. So with this one, it is like a navy blue colour. There's a lot of detail on the mould. Uh, so yeah, really good one. Uh, it did originally come with the face mask. I couldn't find mine. Uh, I've got a bag full of little bits, uh, so I do apologise. But let's take a closer look at it now without the entrance jacket on, just so you can see the elite figure. Another quick thing to mention, I'm going to look at the scans on each figure as well uh, up close because they're all really good and they're all really different. So yeah, Mattel, they always seem to nail the Miz figures. He doesn't get enough love. Another thing I loved was this gimmick. Uh, the whole, if my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. It was brilliant. The next Elite we'll look at is this one with the uh, black entrance jacket. This is the one where he had uh, Damien Mizdow following him round, uh, mimicking everything he did. A uh, good little run. Um, yeah, good detail on the jacket again. Brilliant figure. So again, we'll just take a quick look at the Elite without the entrance jacket on. Uh, this figure was reused for the Damien Mizdow Elite, uh, just with the Damien Sandow head on. Worth pointing out, I really, really like this scan. I think it looks like The Miz instantly. Well done, Mattel. I think a lot of people do forget he is a great tag team performer. He's won plenty of gold with various tag team partners. Uh, so well played to him. Just moving on to the next elite figure. Uh, this entrance jacket, I remember when it first came out and I brought it, uh, the whole black and silver. Uh, I really liked it and I still do. It's really holds up um, probably one of the better elites I think once again we'll just strip him of the entrance jacket uh, take a look at the figure without it on um, he does wear the uh, WWE logo turned upside down to represent the M for the Miz on most of his attires and most of the figures got to be said again another great scan not quite clean shaven uh, but as you can see it looks like the Miz and that's all we ask for we mentioned his whole tag team run earlier, but obviously as a solo competitor, he's also won lots of gold. Probably one of the better Intercontinental Champions of all time in my eyes. Uh, he is pure entertainment and obviously is a WWE Champion as well. And has also won the Money in the Bank a couple of times. If we just move on now to the next Elite figure with the red and gold attire on. Really good figure. Like with a lot of the Miz figures, they don't get enough credit. Uh, this one is highly detailed. And if we now just quickly take the jacket off and we'll take a look at it without the entrance gear on. I think this one does pop on display 
probably because of the colour. A lot of his are the whole black and grey, the darker colours. And this one being red does really stand out on the shelf. And the scan again, really, really good. So behind every great man is an even better lady. In this case, it's Maurice, his real life wife. And in the ring, obviously valet, manager, whatever you'd like to call her. Um, she comes across, really nice lady. Obviously used to be a women's wrestler, former Divas champion. So if we just move on now to the uh, final elite of this video, um, it's uh, another black attire on the entrance gear. The sleeves on it, I don't know if you can tell in the video it's picking it up, but they are really detailed. Good figure. So if we just strip him of the jacket and we'll have a look at the Elite without the uh, entrance gear on. I would like Mattel to make maybe a white gear or the gold that he wore. I think that would be really, really good. Like with most of his Elites, uh, the trunks are pretty similar. Uh, I think that's probably why he gets such good attention to his entrance jackets. Uh, scan again, really good one. It's kind of the people's eyebrow almost. It is worth mentioning as well, he is an actor, he's been in lots of films. Um, so yeah, let's have a quick review of these five figures and then I'm going to pick my favourite one. I will be honest, I do like all the figures um, for different reasons and the scans like you can see here, they're all different but really really good. But as we come to the end of this video, I am going to pick my favourite one now. I'm going to go for the red and gold attire. I think the detail on it is really good. I think the colours pop on display. It stands out if you put his um, accessories on, the glasses and the headband. All round, really good figure. Another one that if you haven't brought it, go and get it. Because I think it's going to be a classic in a few years. So that about wraps this video up. I do appreciate if you're still watching. Uh, hit the thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, it's all good. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Because you may have noticed I've gone over 100 subscribers now. Which I'm really proud of. So I appreciate all of you. You've been watching AJWF. Thank you.